In this video, I'm going to show you how you can crop your videos from Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. Now, before we get into this, I have made a crop video before, but I think there was a little bit of confusion with that video because I think certain people thought that crop meant something and then other people thought crop meant something else. So I'm going to run you through everything in this video and talk you through different ways of cropping your video. And hopefully that answers everyone's questions. So the first way of cropping your video is to literally go to effects, search for crop, drop that onto your video, and then you can use left, top, right, and bottom to just crop your video. Now, if yours doesn't look like this, it's only because I have the transparency grid enabled. So I can turn that off and this is probably what you are seeing. So we are quite literally just cropping this video and you can crop this from any side and that is technically your video cropped. Now, this is the technique that I showed in one of my previous videos, but people were left asking, I don't want this black video, so how do I export just that specific section? In older versions of Premiere, you used to be able to go to the export window and then just change the size of the frame so you could actively crop on export and it would only export this specific section. Now, if we go to the export window in Premiere Pro 23, that option has unfortunately been removed. Now, if you go to frame size, you can change the frame size here. You can go to custom and you can change the frame size, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for a crop. So instead, let's send this to Adobe Media Encoder because Adobe Media Encoder still has that feature. Now, in order to crop that video and just have that specific part of the video exported, we can go into custom and this will load up the legacy window. This is the window that we used to export from directly in Premiere. So of course we can change all of the preset settings. We can change the quality, the codec, all of that stuff. But the thing that you're looking for here is the source tab. So we can now change, if we select this crop button, we can select which part of the video that we want to export. So as you can see, we've just selected this part. So it means only this will export. Now, when we go back to the output window, you can see this has cropped a lot of that, but now we've got this anamorphic bar, this black bar, top and bottom, appearing on our export. So to get rid of that, we're just going to make sure width and height are unlinked. Then we're just gonna start pulling the height down. So it's 216, so let's pull that down to 2000. You can see we need to go a bit further. Let's go 1,800. And now we've gone too far because we've got the bars on the left and right. So let's go 1,900, 1,870, a little bit more, 1,860. And I'd say we're there. So this is where we started. We had this whole frame. Now when we output, you can see this is the part that's going to be exported. So now we can just select where we want this to go. We can change the other settings, press OK, and then press the play button in encoder. And that will now export that cropped video for you. And there you go. Once that has exported, we'll just play that video. And you'll see that is your cropped video. There's no black videos left, right, top, bottom. It's just that exported video. So that is two ways of cropping your video inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. You can either crop it inside of Premiere, essentially treating this like masking, or you can actually crop the video on export to have a specific part of your video exported. But there you go. That is how you crop your videos inside of Adobe Premiere Pro 2023 with the help of Adobe Media Encoder. So thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.